after completing on the aggregated functions now what we're gonna see is date functions right and in this date function there are two functions which i'm going to cover today one is e date and then the next one is end of month let me take you directly to the power bi and try to help you understand with the kind of real life examples so for example let's say you are working in some subscription company where all these customers have taken their subscription on this month for this time of period now your job is to create a column which tells on what date their subscription subscription will expire because on 1st of May 2019, this particular customer took the subscription for three months. So what exactly the date would it be when this subscription will be expired? So for that, how would you find that? So for that, what we're going to do is simple over here. I am just going to create a new column from here. And into that, I'm going to use the tax function. First of all, I would require to rename this as expires one. Let's call it expires on and for that i'm going to use the function called e date all right and into that you need to put the subscription date which will be so you see i just typed s h e e t right and it is giving the suggestion i just typed s h e it is giving the suggestion and from there i'm going to choose this by now you must have understood what it is happening what is it happening if you are watching this for the first time then this is the table name which i have and this is the column name which contains the subscription date value apparently you can see it over here now after that i need to give it number of months when the subscription will expire so or number of months in normal cases if you want to know certain date after a given number of months then this that's where you can use this function so in the first parameter you need to give the start date in second parameter you need to supply the number of months after or before which you want to find a date right so before as well as after if you want to do it in before you need to put minus along with the number of months okay so let's let's say i want to find the date when this after this period okay so for that again i need to pick my table name and the column which contains the period okay and now i just hit close the bracket and hit enter you see what's gonna happen so as soon as you hit enter over here you got this value all right i can hear you don't like this format so for that what you can do is go on going over here and from here you can choose this format let's choose this one okay there are n number of formats you can choose whatever you like right now you see this was the subscription date and this is the date when it is getting expired after three months which means first of may was the subscription and first of august is going to be the expiry date same goes for all of the customers in some of the cases these customers have six months of subscription some of them have nine months of subscription and the end date is coming accordingly all right so this is how we can cal calculate a date after n number of after or before n number of given months now let's let's try another problem statement for example on this date this subscription is getting expired but i don't want to penalize the customer so i want to say to the customer that okay whatever the date your subscription is getting expired last day of that month you can renew your subscription so for that how would you do this so for example it is first of august so you want to ask the customer that feel free to renew your subscription before or on 31st of august same goes for each of them so how do you fix that so for that again we are going to create a new column and this time we will name that column as renew date let's say renew date okay but what about the function which function should you use for that so for that we got the function end of month and again here you need to provide the subscription date and the period when after which you want to find a date right so for that again i'm going to use sheet one and period over here just hit enter and you see you are going to get the last date of that particular month just let's just change the format again over here i just changed the format all right so here you see first of may was subscription date the subscription expires on first of august and we are asking that you must renew your subscription on or before 31st of august so this is how you can use 
end e date and end of month function in your walk thank you very much for watching